get it as dopamine. My name is Robert. It's my pal Susan. Susan, how are you? Happy day after your birthday. <laughs> it was wonderful, and uh, it sparks a thought of growth, um, and in particular, gardening. Are you much of a gardener? No. No. What? Members of my family generations past were, but not so much me. So, so as an Indiana girl, did you, I mean, what was your uh, life like in terms of like the natural world? How, what did you see? What did you do to explore the outside? Both of my, uh, my mother's mother and my great aunt had huge gardens. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of fresh vegetables and a lot of fresh flowers in my life. And as a family, we didn't go hiking or camping or, or, or anything like that. What we did do, Robert, was um, what my mom called a penny hike. We would just walk in the neighborhood. Sometimes we would drive, come to an intersection, corner, flip a penny, and hence we would go right, tails, we would go left. And we had no idea. We just would just get lost, especially if we were in the car. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we had a swimming pool. So I was outside in the water all the time, and our house was a lot because we had the pool and all the kids wanted to be at our house <laughs> that's several things i want to go back to the penny flip that penny hike thing that's really neat that discovery <laughs> thing you know that really brings you into the moment of not knowing what's next right and i think that's such an innate human quality you know that can go either way right it, we're, we're curious even if we're scared a little bit about where it's going that the whole what people call mystery this is what makes people lean in to life in a lot of ways, right? It's, it I mean, heightens it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. it? It ramps, you know, there's an, that excitement factor. I guess maybe we don't get it that often in our lives. So when we create that opportunity, it's pretty special. Well, that, that, that's exactly what I was going to say is I think, you know, we, we don't either recognize when we have it or, or think that it's just, you know, our lives are, are very rote, you know, um, that we don't, we're, we're just checking boxes and, you know, whatever you hear that type of thing. That's why people say they're fine <laughs> um, because they're not engaged. They feel, you know, not autonomous, but like automatons, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and that is what we do as we know in the Yaks classroom is, is we, we say this is about, you know, your engagement. I was thinking about this in terms of exercise this morning that we know how important exercise classes are and it's great. We love and huge fans of, you know, Rocksteady and Dance for PD and yoga and Power of Parkinson's. The difference, not taking anything away from any of them, please, I love them, they're our partners, they're our friends. The difference is going into that class and being told, here's what to do, follow along, right? There isn't necessarily, although there are some, but there isn't necessarily throughout that feeling of, I get to flip the coin, right? <laughs> I get to go right or left, which we know is throughout it's cake baked into what we do with yaks right it's constantly about you flipping the coin and calling right. the tails right yeah yeah or yeah. squash or you know whatever else you want to call <laughs> indeed yes and there 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 are uh benefits to both ways of doing it right but my very early into my diagnosis i went to a power for parkinson's live dance classes before covid right. <laughs> and i had two almost opposing reactions. Everyone was older than me. Everyone had had their uh, diagnosis and their struggles for a lot longer than I had. And so it was, I was new at this, right? So it was pretty scary. It was kind of overwhelming to imagine that I was carrying a condition similar to this group of probably 30 people in the room, a few of whom were care partners. And then, I thought, oh my gosh, they're here. These people who have to have a care partner literally holding the back of their belt in order to help them be able to dance, were doing it. They were right. dancing. Right. And that was the most wonderful inner reframe toward potential and hope and growth and worldview and it was all internal. It was a wonderful uh, shift for me. They were the ones in the arena. They were the ones doing they, the thing. Absolutely. absolutely. Right. And, yes. and, and that's as opposed to, like we say, you know, criticizing or talking about what isn't or, you know, et cetera. Um, and that is exactly that. And that, that's why you're right. It is important to have 
both. This is literally yes and exercise is a yes and to what's there. It's not trying to disrupt or take away from anything that's there. We're saying we're another level that hasn't been understood that it's even been needed, right? People are saying, oh, I guess I feel this way and that's how I feel. Well, okay, yes, and you do have some choice of, of, of what you do with those feelings. And as everyone who plays discovers time and time again that they may not have seen themselves as having that capacity or that creativity or that potential or that whatever. And, and yet the way we, you run the classes and the games and the, the environment that we all create for each other facilitates something coming out. <laughs> right. We may never have imagined that. Well, and it being more than, again, like you said, what you imagined. All right, last thing, tie this up. Favorite summertime uh, vegetable or fruit from uh, either your youth or now? Oh, watermelon. Watermelon. A good watermelon, a really good watermelon. Oh, but a summer peach, oh, yeah. That's... Yeah, I think I'm romantic about apricots because we had a lot of apricots and plums here. I had two apricots for lunch today. But yeah, they were, they were apricots at my house. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I grabbed one on a run because they, you know, they grow around everywhere here. And uh, oh, there's one like hang- a, a tree, just a neighbor's it tree hanging over a tree. And if it's hanging over a tree onto a sidewalk, you know, that's fair game. I jumped up and grabbed it and I was like, it was, <laughs> it was almost the size of my fist. It was a huge one. Oh. Brought it home and I split it and, you know, gave, gave half to each of the kids. And, you know, Giuseppe was like, mm, he took his away. And Autumn was like, hey, you got to share that. <laughs> And it really, it was spectacular. It's really All cute. right. There's, All right. there's your summertime vegetable daily dose and fruits. <laughs> Have a good one.